Why? All right, for all those aggravating times when people change out the heater cores on these things, it's bad enough getting that thing in, but whenever you pull the thing out and pull your wires off and have trouble, like I had, had trouble with my light switches not working, my windshield wipers, and now the latest thing was my alternator not charging. And you heard it was a clo uh, like a loop system where it breaks the connection. Well, that's what happened to me. And I'm not for sure if, you know, like here's my cluster sitting here. If you look, I look on the back of it. Uh, I got a bad problem right here where somebody's tried to rig it up and tape it and I've lost connection. But what's weird is they tell you that there's a green... A little green and a, a, a wire with a green with a little red stripe in it and you splice into that with a 12 volt system and it gives it a jump start the alternator well the thing of it is I was looking over here on this side of the instrument cluster because here is my voltmeter uh, so I was looking over there for the green and red wire which is not in this and I looked underneath the dash, and here you guys who ever try to get under the dash of this thing? Oh, man, that's a pain. You got to be uh, some kind of a, a, uh, an artist, somebody to get in there on their back. And, um, I mean, you, you got to be limber. Best thing to do, if you have to, is take the seats out. The seats are real easy. This seat is real easy to get out. Then you can crawl under. I figured that out. But where that green and red wire is that I'm talking about, is on this side and here is the resistor here it's on this side and that's where my problem is so that green and red wire for all y'all that want to know and need to hook the little 12 volt uh switch uh, uh wire up to it is on this side on this side of the instrument cluster and of course mine had was um I had to scrape off some stuff, but here's that little green and red wire. Okay, so all you have to do is splice into this wire right here and run it on down to a 12 volt system at ignition uh, wire, meaning when you turn the car on and off, you want that what you know you want that to go off. You don't want it to be hot all the time. Okay, so I was kind of scared of hooking that up to something not knowing it was pulling the juice and pulling something all the time but so far it ain't hurt i just tried it so what i done you can do this get these little uh clips here and take a little um fuse as you can see and go to one side of it and come out of this side and i'm going to i found a wire back here that it was hot only when you turned the key on that that's what that means 12 volt wire so I'm going to solder all this together, but see how I rig, fix this. You have to rig it up a few, so if I, if there's a problem, it's going to pop it here, not somewhere else. So I did that because I was kind of scared. I only put it as a 10, and you can put it as a 5 or whatever you want to. But anyway, how I can tell you that that green and red wire here, somebody posted a post. It wasn't really clear. It said, find your harness. And you can find that in your harness going up to there, but I was I was having trouble doing it, so I ended up taking the cluster off. But what I did not know, I could have went to the alternator, and he's the reason why I found it. I had a buddy of mine that uh, knows a lot about electrical and worked on these cars and worked in the Ford plant. So look right here, on your alternator back here is a green and red wire coming out. So what we done is I took a uh, 12 volt wire, uh, 12 volts, and hooked to that, hooked to the battery over here, and 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 made it contact. And I put a voltmeter on my uh, battery, started it up, and see when you give it gas, this this volt number here will go up. And you know you got it before it was running down and running everything down, and a car would buck and spit. And uh, because it, it's got a uh, electric fuel pump, so you got to have juice. And mine was just going down. Even on the voltmeter on the dash was going down. And then that didn't happen till I started pulling all the stuff off when I put the heater core in and started unhooking stuff 
and man it's it you scratch i mean it's it's a pain but i didn't see any anywhere on youtube where you could you know that was clear on how to do everything see i was trying to find this one this is a red wire with a green stripe in it so as you can see here i shaved that back and put a hot system of that and that did not do it so i needed the the green wire with the little red stripe and i don't see it here but i actually could have went over here come right over here and and hook and and cut into this and hooked it up to a 12 volt wire i could have done that but since i had the dash all tore apart i'm showing y'all how you can do it in here but you can actually probably go up underneath the dash in here up and under here and find that red and green wire but it needs to be a green wire get focus in it's got to be a green the green wire with the little red stripe in it and it's on the side of your instrument cluster it's like where the um, uh, oil and gas gauges it's not over here on this side is where it makes sense to me where it would be it's actually on this side as you flip over but you can see this little thing here the guys tell me that's your regulator running down and see i got some bad places in here i'm going to try to rig that up and fix that and that may have been my problem altogether right there why it wasn't looping back in itself but it's a bad design because you think they, uh, you can do the it should go to alternator to the battery and make a loop system it's almost like a triangle it goes from the alternator up to here and back to the battery and it makes a loop and it's a little bitty wire that causes that to be hot and which is is really confusing it's a bad design but anyway as you can see i got 12.1 so i can prove that it works so when you start the thing up Make sure it's in neutral. As you can see, it's 12.6 and it's going up. And that's what you want. So watch when I give it gas. Watch when I give it gas how it goes up. It goes up to almost 14. And that, my friend, is what you want. So, saving y'all some headache, finding that little green and red strip wire right here off, off the alternator, you can run your 12 volt wire here and give it a boost. And that is, if you ever can't, if you ever have your instrument cluster out and can't figure out why your alternator ain't charging, that will save you a lot of headache, man. And I'll tell you, if you're like me, when you took that heater core out, my lights, and now my windshield wipers delays uh, won't work, but I do have high. I like that delay wiper, and I I replaced, I went to Otto's O'Reilly's and even replaced the, the switch. There's a little technical name for it, but that, that operates the switch turn signals and everything i went and replaced that and that wasn't it and it's some kind of windshield wiper regulator uh in there is my problem but i can live with this having high but uh anyway i hope that helps somebody because boy i sure would have wished i would have had that link uh whenever i was doing all this but gibby diy Thank y'all and God bless. That's my 91 Fox. Having fun. El Camino in the background. I, I got it all. Jeeps, El Camino, I don't, I don't call nothing. Thank y'all, God bless.